Daring Abroad, brought to you in partnership with Cop Bank Diaspora Banking. Banking just like home. Greetings and welcome. It is good to have you with us. Today, we are in Germany, yes, where we shall be focusing on two amazing ladies who were able to seize opportunities and now run their very own businesses in logistics. We shall also focus on efforts by the government in making more Kenyans employable abroad. My name is Michael Zimanje and here are our highlights. I started this business with 300 euros. Meet Jane Mudoni, a cleaner turned founder of a German-based shipping company. We have clients in France, really? Belgium, okay. well Holland. Done. Yes, find out what it takes to ship goods from Europe to Kenya through power logistics. Still in Deutschland, Zawadi Fischer shares her 19-year journey as a tours and travel expert. We organize trips, do also invitation. We pick you up from the airport and then we do the tour with you. Plus, there's a shortage of workers in Germany in the area of Kazia Mukono, plumbing, carpentry, and so on. How Kenya's embassy in Germany is helping Kenyans back home get job opportunities here. Let's now join Alex Chamwada in Germany. Welcome to Mannheim City in southwest Germany. It is known as the city of inventions. And here we meet Jen Mudoni, who runs a shipping company known as Power Logistics. She is known for shipping household items to Kenya. This is uh, where we, we do most of our um, loading okay. here after mm -hmm. we collect or people bring also here. Mm -hmm. The container comes here, it's packed here. So we load, two to three days mm -hmm. we are finished. Mm -hmm. But before that, we collect the items. Yeah. So we don't um, just do it on one day. People it's over bring the, the things. period of time people yes. bring. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Then when they come, then we control them, whether there are, there are damages or something. If we see a carton, maybe, for example, is a ton, mm -hmm. we wrap it for, okay. the, for the customer. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you also do door-to-door -door gathering of the items? Yes, or, mm. yes, I do that. Uh, what I do is I, I connect, I work with other people who are offering transport services. So that he goes, or the guy goes and pick them the things from people and bring to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do that. Okay. Yes. How long have you been doing this? Oh, let's say like uh, almost four years. Yeah. Four years. Alex, mm. this is my warehouse. Mm -hmm. as they, you, yeah, you can see as you, can, can you have see. quite a variety of items here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So when people bring, if they bring before the loading date, mm. we come here, we store them here for uh, them. Uh -huh. I really don't encourage so much for people to store them here for long, uh -huh. which we store most of the time, uh, let's say a maximum of three to four weeks before we load, okay. but only for those people who can't afford. Even this furniture is going home? Yes, yes. To Nairobi? Yes. Okay. If the time comes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you can see they bring them here. Some of them, they have load, packed them very well because we... We train our clients how to pack their things to avoid damages. Uh -huh. So you can see the way they have done it. Yeah, these are well done actually. Yeah. Who is your typical client? I have clients who are actually they have started small, small businesses in Kenya. Those are the ones they ship almost every container because we ship almost every six weeks. Uh -huh. So they are the people because they want their business to go on. So they are the people who really ship for me. Okay, also the the clients who are for their families. Mm. They want to do something or say something to their families. Those are also also, also okay. their many, but mm -hmm. mostly business people. 
Kenyans in Europe who are relocating back home also rely on GENS services. You know, we have been here in this country, there have, there have been problems of trust. Now they've gained trust with the power logistics. So because we believe our vision is to connect mm. the Kenyans here in Germany uh -huh. and back home. So they have built the, we have built the trust. Uh. So there are so many people who are backing, going back, relocating to Kenya. Okay. A lot of them. Duration, tell us roughly how long does it take for the goods to arrive in Nairobi? From um, the entire process. The process yeah. uh, mm. from the day after we load, it takes six weeks to Mombasa, then plus <laughs> maximum two weeks for clearance. If you do your paperwork the right way, so eight weeks, that these things, in eight weeks, uh -huh. they'll be in Kasarani. Back home, at some point, we find a container being opened at Jen's store in Kasarani. The store is conspicuously branded ex-Germany household items. The advantage we have with Germany products they manufacture the best, the best quality. Which, if I sell them to customers, I don't get many complaints. And it's long lasting. There is a ready market for the items as they are in high demand. And this is how the store looks like. Jen does not deal in perishable goods. However, it is not all rosy in this business. It has its own challenges. The challenges most of the time we have is um, the clearance process in Mombasa. Mm. That is in Kenya. Here the challenges we find is um, breakages uh -huh. because somebody will bring a TV and they have not packed it the mm -hmm. right way. Like this one. Like that one. Uh. <laughs> so <laughs> so if it's this, not packed like this right, one. So who will pack your? You will boys. pack for the My client. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh. but, yeah. Any other challenges? Yes. Mm. The other challenge is. Um, people not understanding how this works. Mm. They have no idea. Mm -hmm. So they will just bring you some things, but they don't know whether it's, you can ship it or not. Okay. So that's how we came. Uh, I came with an idea of um, having this. Educating them. Educating them, uh -huh. because I do a lot of education to them. Guidelines on Guidelines how to on, yeah. secure your load ready for shipment and yes. so on. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So I send them by PDF. Well or done. when they come here, mm. I show them, I hang them sometimes when people are coming. Uh -huh. Yeah, the other challenges are just the normal, the work, sometimes when we are loading is too much. Uh -huh. And that is what most people should understand, okay. that it is, I can't be on the phone when we are loading. Mm. But they are, they are we are educating them and we are getting there. Okay. Yes. So and then how far do you go in, within Germany? How far do you collect from Mannheim where you are based? Uh, we are now covering the whole of Germany mm. and the neighboring European countries. Uh -huh. We have clients in France, Did? Belgium, okay. well Holland. Mm. And you can't believe it. Even Holland, they bring their things here. They drive from Holland to here. Wow. We have Austria. Even Austria? Austria they okay. bring here. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are neighbors, are, so they you're, bring here. You're growing so fast. Yes. Well done, Jen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. Then, so we are you know, trying. We are trying. When asked, so how did this begin, you know, in terms of even the capital, yeah. the, the, the professional <laughs> expertise, how did this begin? Oh, I can say it really, it's God. Mm. God has given me that strength, but you can believe it. I started this business with 300 euros. 300 euros. 300 euros. Uh -huh. So I started collecting small bit by bit mm -hmm. then i experienced i had no, no experience no nothing. background uh, no background uh, knowledge of, of shipping <laughs> no yeah but what, what's your background my background is mixed yeah <laughs> yeah I, I i i come from a very humble family mm -hmm. you hear about the the people who used to work in the coffee plantation uh -huh. That's where we started. That's where, where I started in Kiambu. In Kiambu. Yeah. Mm. There is the famous um, Jenga Karume. Mm -hmm. There are two. We kind of we are like neighbors. Okay. So that's that's where I think I started um, hustling. Then how did you end up in uh, Germany? Germany, I came like to look for green pastures, mm. and I came with my my one of my friend, and we came by then. 
there were, it was f visa free. Uh, so that's which year is that? Ninety eight. That time you didn't need a visa. No, mm -hmm. for to visit you didn't need a visa. Okay. Yeah. Things have changed. Yeah, uh -huh. things have really so you really changed. I stayed. Mm -hmm. I stayed. Kafanya kazi za zile, yes, I eh, did. Kawaida, eh? kawaida kazi za mikono mm -hmm. cleaning. And uh, that's how I became, like I call it, I became an expert in cleaning. I uh -huh. still love it till today. Uh -huh. I still do it till today with passion. <laughs> but it's the, the same job which gave me little money to do, to, to do to, this. To go into shipping. Yeah. So yeah. you still do those jobs at the same time running your own business? Yeah, actually this business is my side hustle. Uh -huh. Well done, Jen. This is great. Eh? Thank yeah. you, Alex. <laughs> in fact, the... Um, the the, my partner I'm talking about, uh. we are doing about, he's here, uh. Collins. Oh, Collins. Collins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Collins, yeah. Namnagani. We, we've met in Nairobi. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes, met, yeah. yeah, we sure, met at sure. your yeah, center. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had yeah. mentioned uh, about you. Yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. You. So you are partnering. Well yeah, done. Yeah, you are partnering. You have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great, yeah. Yes. I so. didn't even know he was near there. <laughs> yeah, Yeah, Kitambo Kidogo was mm. working on some things. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you say about this partnership? Eh? This is something that is going to be very interesting for mm -hmm. our clients as well because we are talking about bringing some good items from Kenya yeah. which are going to be very important mm -hmm. because uh, we've, had, we've seen that Kuna view or that there is a lot of asking from our brothers mm -hmm. back home to bring some products to, to Germany. So we are really working hard. It's a lot of paperwork uh -huh. involved, but uh, God's blessing are there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure the policy makers uh, are listening. So uh, I'm sure so much will change and you, you'll you find yeah. it smooth. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. So yeah. good. Huh? We look forward to uh, meeting you Thank again. You so much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Quite inspiring from Jane there in Germany. Time now for us to have our Diaspora Bite powered by Top Top Send. Diaspora Bite. Brought to you by TopTopSend. Send money to Kenya from the diaspora by simply downloading the TopTopSend app today to get started. What has living abroad taught you? It has taught me how <laughs> to believe in myself. Uh -huh, that's the word. Uh, yeah, to believe in mm. myself that any person achieving, those people who are up there, they have a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And that is the story I'm also working on and I'm getting there, and uh, I can also get there, like Bill Gates, mm. we can all get there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Diaspora Bite, brought to you by Top Top Send. Send money to Kenya from the diaspora by simply downloading the Top Top Send app today to get started. Download and use the code Chums Media and instantly get a cash bonus on your first transfer. Great time now for us to go on a short break, but when we return, we organize trips, do also invitation. We pick you up from the airport and then we do the tour with you. How Zawadi was able to turn her life from cleaner to business owner in Germany. Also ahead. There's a shortage of workers in Germany in the area of Kazia Mukono, plumbing, carpentry and so on. How the Kenyan government is increasing employability of Kenyans abroad. Guys, yes, it's bigger and it's better. Bamba Nyumba na AMG Wilton. We're not giving out just a shamba, we're giving out a shamba with a house. Nyumba. Isitoshe, we have weekly gift vouchers, a 50 by 100 plot at the end of every month. Let me tell you what you need to do. It is very simple. For every 100,000 Kenya shillings that you're spending with us on any of our properties, you automatically get an entry into the Bamba Nyumba draw and stand a chance to win prize number one, gift uh, number two, and number three. So contact us today. Looking for a home investment in a serene neighborhood? Centum Real Estate presents Cascadia Apartments, located within the thriving Two Rivers development in Nairobi. At Cascadia, you are only a few minutes walk to our 40x cinema, retail shopping, coffee venues and restaurants. Your kids get to enjoy play areas at our theme parks. Deposit 970,000 shillings, pay balance in flexible installments or mortgage financed. Talk to us today on 07. 
You're watching Daring Abroad, brought to you in partnership with Cop Bank Diaspora Banking. Banking, just like home. Welcome back to the show. Now, in the first part, we were able to focus on an incredible lady in Germany doing great work in matters logistics. Now, we're focusing on another lady still in Germany who's in the tours and travel space. Alex Chamoda spent some time with her, and here is that story. <music> It is a village. It's a, somehow a rural area. The surrounding is also rural. Not so many buildings and not so many tall buildings. Zawadi Fisher is a lady on the move, both literally and figuratively. She's an entrepreneur and the CEO of her very own tours and travels company. And in line with her business, she is our designated tour guide today. I have lived here for 19 years. I've been around for 19 solid years. I started in the year 2014. Then I started doing it alone, all alone by myself. Your work is on the road, you are always on the move, that's the nature of your work. You also drive people out, meet people, yes. delegations. Tell us the nature of your work. Uh, the nature of my work is uh, like uh, I do meet and assist. Like I, uh, for example, if there is a delegation, I do the airport pickup. Uh, I do, uh, I take them to the hotel, do the check-in for them, take them for lunch, take them for their meetings. That is now part of delegate. If I'm working with the delegation, if I'm working with the locals, uh, when they're going for events, then we drive them to the events. We drop them at the event places and we pick them back when they are done with the event. Yeah. Mm, who are you at, like typical clients? Uh, my typical client. We work also for corporates. Maybe like if they have a meeting somewhere, they hire us. Then we give them bus and a driver. We don't do bus alone, bus and a driver. We serve all groups. We work for students, uh, for school kids, uh, universities, for companies, for the government. Most of our contracts come from the German government. We organize trips. Let's say maybe it's a family that want to see Europe. Our company do also invitation for the families or we help with the invitation letters if you want to come as a tourist or we can also, the company can also write you an invitation. So you come through us. Before you land, we help you with all the documents. Like we tell you, you have to put your papers like this. We do the consultancy. And once you land, we pick you up, we take you to uh, check in in your hotel, and then we do the tour with you. This is one of the restaurants where I normally bring my clients mm -hmm. along the Rhine. Okay. Yeah. They love being al along the Rhine. Uh, yeah, because, mm -hmm. because they have a sitting, uh, outside sitting area. It's uh, very, very nice. Yeah. And they make one of the best steaks mm -hmm. around this area. Mm -hmm. And you know, with us Africans, <laughs> we love meat. <laughs> yeah. The Rhine River is quite touristic, by the way. Yeah, very yeah. touristic and to, very commercial. They to study it in geography. Yeah, yeah. they do a lot. They yeah. do a lot of uh, things. Wow. Yeah, people cycle a lot. Yeah. People do a lot. There are a lot of businesses going along uh, River Rhine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. So you enjoy this? I really enjoy my work. Yeah. I really enjoy my work because it's like I don't even feel like I'm working. Mm. Like right now we are at the Rhine. Some, normally I should be in the office, but mm. here I'm walking along the Rhine. It's okay. really nice. Uh -huh. yeah. And this Rhine, it's, it's quite historic and it cuts across Germany? It's in Swiss. Mm. It's in Germany. It's, it's like almost everywhere. Uh -huh. yeah. This is part of the places to visit if you, if you are visiting. Bonn, it's a must visit for you. I normally bring people here because Bonn used to be the capital city of Germany mm -hmm. before they moved to Berlin. Mm -hmm. And there are still a lot of things happening. Like uh, behind us, we have the UN nation. Uh -huh. uh, we have uh, the Deutsche Welle offices, the main offices. Mm -hmm. and Deutsche we Welle have, Radio and TV. Yes, yeah. Deutsche Welle Radio mm -hmm. and TV. And there are many Kenyans there. 
Yeah, very yeah, many, very many yeah. Kenyans. Actually, mm -hmm. I can say very many Africans because mm -hmm. we also have people from Cameroon, mm -hmm. people from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then we have now the uh, headquarter for DHL. Yeah. I think every person who has ever received a package mm -hmm. know what mm -hmm. DHL means. Yeah, it's quite familiar yeah. to many people. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Really enjoying the breeze from the Rhine yeah. River. Yeah. Ile to Uganda summer took a geography. Uh, Imagine. Yes. And do you know what? Yeah. Can you imagine that my geography teacher told me that I will not reach far? Uh. But I've seen the river right before my geography teacher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they inspired us, actually. Yeah, it's somehow. Not that they were, they were tough on us. Yeah. Yeah, you know. And uh, we always appreciate them at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, without being tough, maybe you wouldn't have reached where you've reached. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think. Yeah. yeah. So, how is business for you normally? Is it seasonal? Is it the same during winter, during summer? No, uh, my business is actually seasonal mm. because uh, it starts around April time, around Easter time, and it ends on the uh, end of October. Mm. Then when sun goes down, when it gets cold in November, first week of November, then everything slows down. Mm. So like November, December, January, mm -hmm. February, March, we don't have a lot to do. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Though sometimes during Christmas time, we have guests who come to see the beautiful German markets. Uh, we have different Christmas markets. Like in Germany, we have several. Each yeah. and every city organizes a Christmas market. We are in Belgium, Brussels. They mm. also have a um, mm. Christmas market. And uh, th that's quite interesting. So let me ask you, what exactly made you venture into this? How did it start? What inspired me is like, uh, if I look around, mm. it's very difficult to find. Like now, if I want to go to America, mm. if I look on internet, it's really not easy to find someone who is, who will pick you up, who will do everything for you. So I was just like, oh, I think this is a, mm. a business idea. Mm. Let me try. Because normally I believe business, a good business is whereby uh, it um, gives a solution to a problem. And how did you come to Germany? Oh, quite interesting. Uh, actually, Germany was not my dream country. Mm. I always wanted to go to Canada. Mm. And then one day, one time, my lady came to me and told me, oh, you know what, I'm going to Germany. And I'm just like, ah, Germany. OK, mm. what, do you, what are you going mm. to do there? I was, it was not anywhere mm. near mm. my dream country. Uh -huh. And then uh, she showed me the visa, and she was like, she's going for au pair. And I was like, oh, au pair, what is that? Yes. So she explained to me, and she was so nice uh, that she said next day she will come, and she will take me to go and register if I'm interested. And she came the next day, and she picked me up, and we went to town in Nairobi. And uh, I registered, and I started going to the classes and uh, for, to learn German language because you have to know the German language so that you can get mm. a, a host family. Mm. So au pair is like, um, this is for young people until the age of 25 who are leaving their mother country to go to a different uh, country uh, uh. to go and uh, maybe learn the language, the culture. So you live with the host family. It's like, it's an exchange program, okay. you know? So after that, when I finished that, then I was like, wow, I don't want to go back. So I extended my stay with the language, and then fortunately, I found somebody, <laughs> okay. Mr. Charming. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> one story led to the next, yeah. and here I am today. Yeah, so you started a family here. <laughs> Given that you are in a foreign land also, what are some of the things they must do, you know, compliance, you know? There are no shortcuts. It is quite a challenge to do a business in Germany because most of people, they don't like paying tax. That is actually what is killing many uh, foreign businesses. Mm -hmm. Once you know how to do your tax thing, uh -huh. then uh, you're good to go. No shortcuts. <laughs> there is no shortcut. You just give what belongs to the government, you give them. Uh -huh. And you remain with their little, you eat, but you are okay. And uh, back home, anything you are doing back home, investment back home? Yeah, I've been trying to uh, bring like a uh, shuttle business, uh, buses, mm. VIP uh, for corporates, but it's quite, it's uh, some, there are some challenges, especially mm. when it comes to port. There was a time I was almost doing it, and then the former president moved the port mm -hmm. to Naivasha. Mm. So it kind of brought a lot of confusion, and I said, okay, let me first. Um, chill and I let everything settle down. And so how regularly do you visit Kenya? I visit Kenya quite uh, a lot. 
because uh, with me, I normally believe that even a weekend or an extended weekend can do for me. I don't need to stay there for two weeks. So um, maybe sometimes when we have an extended weekend, maybe we have a holiday like on a Thursday. So I can travel even on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm back in the office. Yeah, and I've seen my country. Currently, Zawadi has 19 individuals working for her. She hopes to continue expanding her business through hard work and determination. And as we conclude her story, this is her parting shot. German has taught me uh, to be consistent. Mm -hmm. You have to learn the business. You have to know everything that happens with the business. Uh -huh. To and see the fruits see of the fruits it. Of yeah. the, yes. Amazing story there. Many thanks to Alex Chamwada. Clearly, you can achieve a lot if you seize opportunities. And speaking of opportunities, time now for our back home segment. And today, it's all about how the Kenyan government is increasing the employability of Kenyans abroad. Back home, powered by Cooperative Bank. My name is Tom Amolo, Ambassador Tom Amolo, the Kenya's ambassador to the Federal Republic of Germany with concurrent accreditation to Poland and the Czech Republic. Over the past 60 years that Kenya and Germany have enjoyed this diplomatic relation, we have accomplished huge things in all sectors from education, health, agriculture, training, TVET. There's all sorts of areas that we've benefited from enabling a new generation of young leaders to get scholarships to train in postgraduate studies. From His Excellency President Ruto getting scholarships to upgrade their skills in science and technology. So they've been involved in every sector of the Kenyan economy. Right now, there are over 150 companies businesses in Nairobi. We have a large trade relationship, up to 40 billion, in favor of Germany. We are working on a bilateral labor uh, uh, agreement, which will enable young men and women from Kenya to come to Germany. There's the overarching group here in Germany called Bitcom. Is the company, is a group, is an association that brings together all the companies that deal with IT. When PS engineer John Tanui was here, in his discussion with Bitcoin, they said they lack 135,000 jobs in the area of IT. 135,000 jobs. They don't have the ability to fill them in the IT sector. What they're doing in Germany now is to amend the laws to enable quicker migration of such needed staff into Germany. That's why we have this bilateral labor agreement that we're working on. To work in Germany, you need German. Eh? Yeah. But a job. Ama, you come here with English. You have to be able to learn that, to speak the language. So there are courses. But what we are doing, this is the thing. It is possible as an individual to learn the language yourself. But also, government is helping at two levels. One, at the TVET. I told you that DAD, we're working on a structure where they can enable German language in the TVET area. Equally, we are saying also that the PS for education should increase the German language learning abilities from the bottom up, from standard one who can do. In any case, most, a lot of schools in Kenya, without prompting, are teaching German. If you learn and know German at a technical level, education in Germany is free. When I say free, unakuja, unapiga application, unasema, I know German, they, they test you, you prove it, admission. Where kitu nafanya is maintenance, your own maintenance. But education is literally free. Germans from standard one to university don't pay. 
what we're saying is that because there's a shortage of staff, shortage of, of workers in Germany in the area of Kazia Mukono, plumbing, carpentry, and so on. So we're saying these TVETs of ours, let us have a curriculum similar to theirs, if not the same, and have them also learn the language so that as they learn to do plumbing or whatever, they get the knowledge and we can easily enable them to come back here in Germany and do the work. Cooperative Bank, we are you. Amazing piece right there. And that brings us to the end of our show today. But before I let you go, remember we have been bringing you incredible investment opportunities by Centum Re, including Two Rivers. Today, it's all about Cascadia. Yes, Cascadia Apartments. Get yourself a luxurious one or two bedroom apartment with state-of-the-art amenities, including play areas and ample parking with so much more from as low as 9.7 million Kenya shillings. This is ideal for the middle class in Nairobi and all this is with flexible payment plans. Great time to wrap things up but before then Chums Media has been bringing you amazing stories from all over the globe and it has actually been 10 years, yes 10 years of Chums Media and we would like to appreciate you the viewer for being with us and supporting us through these years. And as we look forward to the next decade, we say we shall continue bringing you informative, inspiring stories. On behalf of the crew responsible for this week's episode, we say many thanks for watching and let's do this again next time. Daring Abroad, brought to you in partnership with Copbank Diaspora Banking. Banking just like home.